Hello everyone, I'm Susan Kale. I'm Vince Petrano. We have new information today about a shooting at Wisconsin Lutheran High School. Two girls reportedly got into a fight at a basketball game last night. More people got involved in the fight out in the parking lot. The father of one of the girls reportedly shot a 15-year-old from Milwaukee. Police say they do have a suspect, but they are not releasing his name. Two people dead, three others in the hospital after a stabbing on Milwaukee's south side. And that includes two children. The stabbing happened near 20th and Lapham just before 7 last night. Police think the incident stemmed from a family dispute because all the victims are related. A 22-year-old is in police custody. Later today, two local veterans will be honored with the return of long-lost Purple Hearts. The group Purple Hearts Reunited returns lost military medals of valor to veterans or their families. The ceremony starts at 3 o'clock this afternoon at the Milwaukee County War Memorial. The public is welcome to attend. Following the Packers on the road to glory now, when we hear from Aaron Rodgers today, we hope to get another update on his calf muscle injury. Yeah, not everyone believes he's actually that hurt. I'm not buying into this leg issue. I'm not buying into it. I saw him scramble close to the goal line on the Cowboys, so he's not fooling me with that. Honestly, I, I don't believe it either. Uh, you know, I'll make that adjustment when, when I see him out there, but when you think of a competitor like Aaron Rodgers and an elite quarterback that he is, I'm expecting he's going to be as good as he can be on game day. The Packers play the Seahawks. Sunday kickoff is about 2 o'clock. Stick with today's TMJ4 for continuing live team coverage from Seattle leading up to the game. And you can also find the latest Packers news and updates on our website or our free app. Today is the first day of the Waukesha Jamboree. John Milan will help kick off the 30th year of that winter celebration. That's coming up this afternoon. So get ready for tobogganing, dog pole, ice skating, and so much more. The Waukesha Jamboree is happening all weekend long. Should be a great weekend for the weather. Finally perfect for the Jamboree. Over to Michael Fish now for a check on our Storm Team forecast. And then you know that someone's going to complain about there being too much melting. <laughs> <laughs> there will always be someone. And uh, they don't have to worry about any sort of snow out west in Seattle, by the way. It's going to be raining a lot of the weekend right on through Saturday. Saturday night, some of that rain could be heavy at times. And then as we get closer to game time, it may be raining in the morning, but it be, may become a bit more scattered as the day goes on. So I have to watch actually how that forecast starts to pan out. Either way, rain in Seattle, imagine that. But it, it might taper off again as we get closer to game time. Now let's talk about back here at home and talk about these temperatures where today it's going to be just a little bit cooler than it was yesterday. We're going to be right around that average high for a lot of the day. No records for us. That record 52 set back in 1949. Now, as far as today, there's actually a weak little disturbance rolling its way on through in the leading edge of some warmer air trying to work its way to the north in the mid levels of the atmosphere. So what that might do for just a couple of us, just a few flurries, maybe a snow shower, but nothing that you have to worry about. As far as tonight, your temperatures are actually going to start going up as the later night goes on. And with that, we could see a little bit of fog, maybe some freezing drizzle because we still may be below freezing. And then as we go through your Saturday, here we are in the morning, pretty quiet. But then we have a front that's going to get closer and closer. Could see some drizzle, maybe a light rain or snow shower as we go into tomorrow, late afternoon into tomorrow night. And then Sunday, a little bit quieter. Here's kind of a closer look again, just a chance of a couple flurries, maybe a snow shower tonight. Here comes the warmer air and this might be coming in off of the lake, but most of us should stay relatively quiet as the temperatures go up. Saturday, quiet to start the day as the day goes on, though. Again, you might see a little bit of drizzle, maybe a little bit of light rain, but what you're going to notice are warmer temperatures. Today, though, 30 degrees, a little bit cooler than yesterday, but still not bad. Could see a flurry or stray snow shower out there. Nothing that would last all day. Now, as far as tonight, we start off with 25 degrees, so actually not that cold. What you don't see right here is our temperature is actually going to be going up as the night goes on. And with those temperatures going back up, we might see a little bit of fog or some freezing drizzle. That would not be an all night event. As far as tomorrow is concerned, 40. Now it's going to come with the cost of wind. Could see some drizzle, maybe a stray shower. We got 40 degrees, not bad. As far as our weather, kid, 30 degrees today. There's Sydney. She looks happy about a pretty nice forecast. And as we go through the next seven days, right on through the weekend, there's Sunday at 34. So just a little bit cooler, but nothing that we can hand, uh, can't handle, you guys. As far as this whole upcoming week, those temperatures aren't that bad. So no real Arctic shots of air tomorrow. Imagine what 40 is going to feel like. All right, looks good. Thank you, Fish. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend, everybody.